Well, if you've been given a kitchen a gadget for Christmas, uh, then we've got just the thing for you now because Juliet Sear is here with some brilliant recipe ideas. Not necessarily the usual thing you think to do in them. Exactly. It's surprising how much you can do in these gadgets. You know, sometimes you get a gadget, you just do one thing, like a cheese toasting machine, and it's just in the cupboards, yeah. and that's all you do. But there is honestly so much you can do. I mean, we know about our air fryers, how versatile they are. Yeah. But yeah, I can't wait to show you these ideas because I particularly love this one, which is my piesty. Mm. So it's basically a pie made in your toasty maker, and it's okay. really easy. I got Belle got one of these Christmas toasty makers. Oh, that was what she fantastic. wanted for Christmas. So I got her one, so I'm all ears for this. We did an item the other day about toasties, yeah. and, and I thought, I'm sure I've got one. And I searched for it, and this is how much, this is what happens to them. And eventually I found it at the back of a cupboard. Yeah. That I, I'd even forgotten I got the cupboard. Have you got it out now? <laughs> toasty. Have you got it out now? Well, I looked at it and thought, I must get that out. And then I shut the cupboard door and it's still in there. Well, maybe you're this is a bit now. You're going to get it out, yeah. honestly. Wait till you try these. So um, I've got some, I've got a filling here. So I've got a bit festive. We've got um, leek, mushroom and chestnut. And it's so in... savoury. Yes, it's savoury. Yeah, you can oh. do sweet and savoury. So um, now I've got a little white sauce with a bit of masala. And all you need to do when you're making... What do you think? Got a big bit on your face. Mm. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. so, so all you need to do when you're making... Saving that make bit. any pie no. filling at all. It's not all I gone, but... It. Yeah, uh, uh, sorry. You've yeah. not even gone on the fridge you. shake yet. Wait till you get that. It's going to be really messy. <laughs> God. <laughs> but, yeah, any pie filling you want to make, anything you do in a pie, you can do in a pie stew. You just need to make sure the filling's a little bit drier. OK, mm. so, um, so I've got some shop-bought puff pastry. I've just cut it into squares, and you just literally put your square onto your machine. Mm, so you cut it to the size of whatever Whichever that is. Whichever one you've got. Yeah. Sometimes you can get even round ones, doesn't matter. Just cut it to the size that you've got. And then... And you don't have to butter one side or anything nope. like... Ooh. Don't need to butter it. Not what you would do with the toast, don't you? Yeah. But you don't because it's puff pastry is so buttery anyway. Right. Or... I assume that's got to be quite an accurate cut because you don't want any left outside. Well, I mean, I've done it quite messily before and it's sort of like... As long as you've got Does two still pieces... still cook the pastry if it's outside? Um, what do, you, what do you mean outside? Sorry, he said it's outside overhanging thing, outside. Like the, the, oh, yeah, it sort of like just goes all nice and kind of like crunchy. Oh, a bit. I, I, yeah, I, I, once it's once you've closed the lid, um, yeah, it just kind of like all seals it in really, and you can put quite it's a lot so in. It's crispy. Mm. It's so crispy, isn't it? So literally, you've got a pie in ten minutes there. You've Sorry, really that filled that more than I thought you were going to. I know, and I well, when I first started doing these, I was quite careful with the filling. I thought, oh, it's just going to go everywhere but you can actually load a lot in there. So just go through your ingredients again. So we've got um, a basic white sauce, which I've added some masala, or you can use white wine, and some leeks, some mushrooms and some chestnuts, and just simmer that down till it thickens, and just let it cool. Do you know what would be lovely in that as well? What would be nice? Stuffing. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's a that great idea. Nice. Or some um, mince, pie, mince pie filling. Oh. Just mince pie steez. Yes. Um, I actually made, and when I first got the idea for this, I did apple pies, and then I did mince and onion. Are the apple pies being quite apple, similar to the old golden they, arches? They certainly were. They were really good. And it, you can put anything in this. I'm really, I'm really happy with this idea, actually. Hopefully, so it, if you've got one for Christmas, you're going to be using yeah. it all year round. If I was, I was given a cooking apple the other day, I would well, so what to do with it. Yeah. I, I can't be bothered to make apple sauce and stuff like that. Could I put cooking apples in, if I did like a golden arches... Um, yeah. apple pie. A cooking apple with cinnamon and stuff? You could, and I've actually got a recipe on my Instagram for it. If you want to have a look, you can make that. I'll have a look. Have you a look. dig that tasty <laughs> maker out the back of the cupboard. I'm going to ask you, yeah. So, literally, that's just going to be in there for ten minutes, and mm. then you get them out lovely and crispy. They're so good. Give it a they try. They are very good. Never leave them in the cupboard again. Very good. Right, onto the air fryer. Mm. Now, um, you don't, you know, they're great for all sorts of things like crunchy chips and everything, but I've got cookies in here. Can I just have a piece of raw cookie dough? Oh, co oh you're a cookie dough. Oh, I can't do cookie dough like that. Do you like it? I mean, <laughs> yes. Oh, I think I'm going you not. I, I, just don't, I just don't do it. I just don't do, like, raw cookie dough, but I'm, I'm more oh. sort of savoury. So That's a very mm. posh air It's a really fry. posh one, isn't it? Mm. So you can do I these in any air fryer. Now, what I've got Massive. here is a really lovely cookie dough recipe, and I've made it a bit more festive by adding some spices to my flour, mm. and then I've got some leftover Christmas pudding. Just crumble it all in there, and then just mix it in. Now, this recipe, if you don't, have, if you don't like Christmas pudding... You can use some of your Christmas chocolates. You anything can put you anything got. in there. So once you've got this recipe, you can make cookies oh all year round. So I'll tell you what's lovely, putting some birthday sprinkles in here and doing birthday cookies. So, oh, my God. Aren't they good? 
And you just literally... I've got clotted cream as well. Roll them into the ball. You're not a big clotted cream fan, No, I'm not. I've made a right mess, one, one but minute. But that's... Do you know why I love Aren't that? Nice? Because of the Christmas pudding. I'm loving Yeah, this. I love a Christmas pudding. And they're so tasty. Um, literally, pop them into um, oh balls in the fridge. Oh, like, that's the face I like to see. Squish them down and then in they go. Now, there's lots of different air fryers you can get. If you've got one with a round basket, just put a piece of baking paper in the round basket, flatten them down, in they go. Eight, oh my God, minutes. this is amazing. Eight, Eight, ten minutes. Yes, and then you've got cookies on tap. You can leave them they're in the They're really fridge. good. Yeah, they're, they're good, aren't they? Really um, good. So, I'm, yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying those. Lastly, you've got a Nutribullet for Christmas or any type of blending machine. There are many available. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a New Year's Eve freak shake. <laughs> and they're so tasty. How many freak do you Ben's going to make us do to get rid of this? The bit. only thing that ever comes out of my Nutribullet is really healthy smoothies. <laughs> yeah, smoothies, exactly. But New Year, you know, you want a bit... We've got a bit of Baileys in here. So, look, freak shakes are all we'll about looking New Year amazing, tomorrow. tasting amazing. <laughs> So you've got your ice cream. I've got a nice, generous dash of... I can't even get it out. Is it, you've got oh, a jammed a, up straw. I think I've got a jammed up that's straw. That's a old suck required there. Oh, yeah, mate, use, the, use the cocktail. Use the um, Sunday well, spoon. Hold on. Because it's kind of like a dessert and a drink in one at Freak Shake. That's what I love gonna, about them. It's not going to happen. Hold on. Because I can't right. just have a spoon full oh, of cream. it's frozen. Is it a bit frozen? frozen? So here we go. Pop it in there. Should Give I it a blend up. Oh. Mm. I got it now. Once you sucked out the clog bit at the end. I can't! <laughs> Is it really, you can't get it out? Mm. Oh, I can't oh, get no. it out. Oh, no. Do you want to use this straw? Yeah. yeah I've got it now, straw. but it's great. It's exercising so basically, your jaw muscles. <laughs> I've impaled a brownie on the straw, because they look really nice just to top them off with a brownie. You could use a donut, anything you like, really. Well, that bits for me for, for later. Oh, that's and then, good. Is that got Bailey's in yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's, it's delicious, isn't it? So, oh, I wasn't expecting nice that. Cream. It's a Bailey's milkshake. It's amazing. Isn't it good? Oh, yes. my yeah. gosh. Just Perfect like, the New what's Year. What's that? Dolce's... Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Dolce's let shake and use blah. caramel sauce. And then you've got your lovely... You've got my straw, but you pop, pop your straw, your brownie through your straw. There you go. That was phenomenal. Everything about <laughs> that was great. <laughs> thank you. Thank I hope you enjoy using your toasty for your pies. Always, yes. Well done. Probably it's ready, it's ready to go. Um, thank you very much. Thank you. Happy thank New you. Year to you. Happy New Year. For details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our chefs, download the free This Morning app.